Hey, Karim gets a nerf. From position post cast. Oh, so you can Q flash now. 20% of total cooldown to 5% plus 40% of total lethality. That is so good. Alright, so patch 13.14. And let's dive in. Get ready to rumble. Uh, the new split starts now. The 2v2, I think, is added. The Nafiri is released. Rengar gets banned. Hey, Karim gets banned. Kindred gets banned. Alright, alright. That's already looking pretty interesting. I also uh, took a quick peek, so Axiomark is getting a crazy, crazy change. So starting with uh, Nafiri, I guess, gets released. Alright, so Nafiri, we'll see how it is. <laughs> I will see in a week when I'm unbanned, but alright. Uh, so, starting with Atrox. Q damage increased, minimum damage modifier increased. <laughs> so, base damage 10 to 90, 10 to 70, so his base damage goes down. But his AD scaling goes up on the Q. <laughs> so we'll be above at 0, 100 AD. So if he's got 100 total AD, it's above already. <laughs> what? Second cast will deal more, and then third cast will do 50 more, so that's the same as it was. Minion damage also goes up. <laughs> so his Q deals more damage. I think Atrox is actually pretty strong right now. Like late game, he becomes unstoppable. I lost many games just because Atrox was was not not killable, <laughs> and I guess he gets buffed right now. Why Riot Games? His win rate was actually forty nine percent. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I, f I felt I felt like Atrox was pretty strong. Maybe he wasn't that strong. All right. <laughs> so there is Atrox. All right, Diana. W shield strength increased. Damage per orb increased. E magic damage increased. So shield strength goes up by 5, AP scaling goes up by 5%, so that's not very relevant. And magic damage per orb goes up by 3% AP, so 9% AP on the total damage. Alright, that's nice, that's nice. It's more of a, a snowball buff. Uh, like if Diana gets a snowball then she'll deal more damage, it's not really a base damage buff too much. E Lunar Rush, Magic Damage, 10% more AP, alright, so more damage on the E. That's fine, that's fine. It's just the scaling buffs pretty much. <laughs> so, better scaling on the Diana. <clears throat> that's pretty cool, that's pretty good, I would say. Alright, Diana maybe needed this. Maybe she wasn't the best uh, champion right now. Still reasonably strong in solo queue, alright. Hecarim gets a nerf, let's see. Interesting. What did they nerf about Hekarim? Maybe I stopped perma banning him. W bonus armor and magic resist decreased. 10 less armor and magic resist. Really good nerf. It is so good. In my opinion, Hekarim should be more of a like a bruiser champion than full lethality, kinda unkillable, heals so much while being building full damage kinda champion, because it just makes no sense. So now he needs to buy more armor to actually have armor. He doesn't max this, so his early game is takes a huge hit by losing 10, 10 8 armor and magic resist. The thing with Hecarim is he's so hard to kill while being full lethality, right? Because of this armor, because of the healing, because of the healing from even his allies damage. So, so now it's a bit less, a bit easier to kill. I do like that. I don't know if it's enough, but definitely this limits his early game. So you can stop him better early to mid game. So that's good. Jax gets a nerf, that's also good. E cooldown increase, Hermana cost increase, so... Counter strike cooldown from 8 to 9 on max strength, so one second more, that's good. Grandmaster at arms, more mana cost. My 50 is super low for this, so that's good, makes sense. <laughs> alright, that's good. Jax is super strong. That's a nice nerf. E is super strong, alright. Cartus, Q base damage decrease, so it's a nerf to Cartus. Damage to monsters increased. Imana e restoration decrease. Cardos is just a jungler now. No one plays him anywhere else. Alright, maybe in bot lane. Maybe in bot lane. So magic damage from 45 to 115 to 43 to 115. So he loses 2 damage. So that's like barely ending nerf. But monster damage goes up. So he might end up doing more damage. So on rank 2Q, he will probably deal more damage to monsters already. So level 3, Cartus already deals more damage to monsters. And then it's, you know, still a buff. 
maybe it's, an, it's probably not even a nerf on his first clear. That makes no sense. Kartus can clear so fast. He can full clear with no leash. And he full clears six camps. And he, he can still come to, to your sixth camp to contest it. Did happen to me. Kartus full cleared. I was still on my golems. He, he walked up to my golems and smited them. He started, he starts leashless, starting from red. I have no idea how that happened, but it happened, all right. So his clear is not exactly slowed down. Mana restoration on takedown goes down though, so that hurts his mana pool a bit. All right, so lane Kartus takes a hit with this in bot lane. All right, that's nice, Kartus is, Kartus is strong right now. So that's good. I do like those, those nerfs. All right, Kindred. Base stats, uh, the the previous patch uh, thing is reverted, so he gets back, Kindred gets back the HP and the armor. And now the Q, physical damage goes down by 10. That's nice. And cooldown goes up also. So let's change potential. I guess it doesn't change the, the cooldown reduction from W, right? So Kindred still gets shorter cooldown inside the W, but the, the Q cooldown itself, so for like chasing people, Mobility over walls in the jungle and stuff, it's uh, a bit weaker. Well, one more second, that's nice. I think it's a better nerf to nerf the damage of Kindred than nerfing the HP. I actually don't know, because this nerf by itself, it's not that it's, it's not that big of a nerf, right? I think Kindred is still gonna be super strong, still probably needs a small nerf. They could have maybe even kept this. I think if they kept this HP and then added this Q, it would be still fine. I guess they just wanna play it safe and, you know. Test it out with just this and see. Alright. Alright, we'll see. Kindred still still very strong, probably. Probably not enough. Alright. <clears throat> but there it is. A nice direction to nerf this. Lissandra, passive quality of life changes. Trust will now stop. Trust will continue to chase down their targets. Oh yeah, because they were doing like this the basic attack animation at the end. But they were slowing so much anyway that they would most of the time anyway chase the targets, so I don't know. When I follow enemies into brush. Trust when I follow enemies into brush, what? I didn't know they that I did not know that they didn't, alright. Trust are revealed to enemies through fog of war. Alright, that makes sense. That makes sense, alright. Q is Q used to only slow the first enemy hit, that makes no sense. I, I did not know that, I guess it didn't. Now it slows all enemies. That's that's really good for Lissandra. So like you Q through minions and it slows the champion also. Q will cast from position cast rather than precast. From position post cast. Oh, so you can Q flash now, I guess. That's what it means. Because there is this animation when she's like kind of moving her hand, right? So maybe you can E, then start queuing, and then E like dash, like, uh, you know, blink with the E and then instantly get an insta queue now on Lissandra. Which kind of looks like animation cancel. This is actually going to be pretty strong. Because you don't need to wait for the Q animation, right? The W is anyway instant. <laughs> so Lissandra will become a bit more bursty. That's... I think that's massive for Lissandra. I think it's massive, actually. Heal amount. 10 more HP. Alright. 55% AP from 25. That's a lot. And maximum heal will be at 30%. So the increase is, is higher now. The, the AP ratio is higher. Damage and slow application cadence. 16 times per, per second, alright. Update logic slightly around stopping dashes, alright, because it knocks down also. So it stops dashes. <laughs> there is more refresh on the slow, I guess, around here and the damage, and alright. So really, really like a huge nerf to Sandra. I mean, a huge buffs. That's really good for her. I think Lissandra wasn't in that bad of a spot. Maybe she needed those. Pretty interested in this change. That Q will cast from the position post cast. Definitely people will play Lissandra now. She's she's really good. And now she's better, I would say. Milio passive burn damage decreased, E bonus movement speed decreased, so another nerf to Milio makes sense. Champ is still super strong. Even after the previous nerf. So burn damage goes down. 15 to 50, that's nice. 25 to 80 to 15 to 50. 
sizable decrease and worm hacks bonus movement speed goes down also all right makes sense i like to see like a decrease on the shield maybe or something because like milio just makes the target he's protecting kind of unkillable i don't know it just kind of feels like milio gap when you can't kill the ad carry but that's something that's that's still decent that's still decent all right so nice a nice nerf uh, Rek'Sai, unburrow damage, base damage decrease, E damage decrease, so unburrow, 5 less damage on the W, that's good, and the E, damage scaling is down, wait, physical damage, oh, furious by a huge hit to damage, from 75 to 25 at max rank, so loses 50 damage on rank 1, 50. And then the scaling, AD scaling is also down. That's a massive nerf to damage. Because, you know, this becomes true damage, right? So it's 50 less true damage, and then it's 15% less bonus AD. Oh, no, wait. It was bonus AD, and now it's total AD. I see, I see. So is that even a nerf, then? E damage decrease. I guess it's a nerf. But it's not that big of a nerf. Wouldn't that be a buff on, the, on level 1? Total AD, right? Definitely Rex has more than 50 AD. Attack damage 58 on level 1 to 109. So it's a buff. It's already a buff at, at rank 1. So E deals more damage now. And W lost some damage. Maybe it scales less with more bonus AD, right? But that's pretty much it. But the base damage is still higher initially. So it's, it's uh, 8 more damage, right? On rank 1, level 1. So Rex gains 8 damage here, but loses 5 damage here. You know, level 1, let's say. But really, you know, it needs to be level 2 for, for this case. So this is not exactly a nerf. I don't know, Riot Games. It's got less scaling with more bonus AD, right? That's that's the thing, but I don't know. Rex is just strong early game. Like, early mid game is a really strong champion, so... I don't think it's... It's not even bad. It's not even bad. Definitely deserves nerf. Rex, I did deserve nerf, but alright. So I don't know about this. This is kind of weird to me. We'll see. Uh, Real base armor decreased, passive armor, and magic res is still decreased. So base armor goes down, good. Armor magic res is 2 3 to 2%. Minimum armor magic is still 0.8 to 2. So less steel. Maximum armor, 10% steel. So she still has armor. Alright, Real is pretty strong. So it makes sense that she gets nerfed. All right, that's it. Small nerfs, I think it's good. All right, Rengar. Rengar is getting nerfed. Let's see. Health regeneration, seven to six. So now he gets a bit less health regeneration. So that's probably mostly relevant for top Rengar. I mean, also in the jungle, he does lose some HP on the clears. So that's something. Q Savagery, critical strike damage conversion. What? Critical strike damage conversion? Does Rengar even build, build crit though? That's the question, because... So those are the builds. So he does go crit, all right, I guess. So he goes first lethality mythic and then goes crit. So he gets less crit damage. So that limits his like mid to late game scaling. It's fine, all right. I'd like to see something that I suggested on reddit which is uh, to decrease the ferocity duration because it's kind of stupid that he can get full ferocity of the camp keep it for 10 seconds and then he still got the Q so he can at the end of the 10 seconds of ferocity which is already bonkers he can activate the Q and then gets three more seconds so effectively 13 seconds after clearing a camp, he can one-shot you. If he's got full ferocity, you can't even kill him, because he will just cleanse all the damage. Right, pressing W twice, and then gets move speed, and then uses all of his skills, and then gets full ferocity again. So he will. So you, you use all of your stuff, then he gets full ferocity, and then he just kills you anyway, right? You can't kill him, and he kills you for free. That's the problem with the champion. Maybe reduce the ferocity duration, maybe increase his ult uh, cooldown or something a bit of a Q damage nerf all right i don't know man i feel like this is not the problem with the champion the problem with the champion is his early game power and the way the passive works but 
Alright, it's some kind of nerf. I think Rengar is still very strong, because this is only a buff. Like, if he doesn't have any crit, then it doesn't even work, right? This is only relevant on, you know, two items, maybe. If he does get a lucky crit, probably doesn't even matter. Probably on three items is when this matters. So not a huge nerf, alright. Small nerf to Rengar. Shaco. QAD scaling increased, backstab damage increased, bug fixes. AD scaling, alright. Bonus physical damage. 65. So Shaco. Shaco got QAD scaling, so... Shaco is right now a bit of a meme champion. They mostly play him AP. So AD scaling got increased. Backstab damage increased, bug fixes. Bonus physical damage. So he gets more bonus AD scaling on the Q, that's nice. Backstab bonus critical strike damage. 55%. So it deals bonus damage. Also, the bonus damage is more, but the crit is also more damage. That's nice. So more AD scaling makes sense. Hallucinate. So maybe Shaco deals some, does some crit builds now. I'm pretty sure he's going... AD Shaco is going Stride Breaker, which is like a bruiser build. But you know, the champ is kind of a bit of a meme, so... Either it's AP or it's like a bruiser, so... Maybe this brings back Shaco Assassin a bit more. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I think that's nice for Shaco. I'm not exactly missing the champion not being in the meta. That's pretty annoying to play against, but... Hextech Dragons, I think, we either the cube is not the current damage, the damage to Shaco's boxes, alright. Zeri related box, who would have thought? Alright, anyway, that's the Shaco. Shaco, AD Shaco. Maybe Assassin Shaco is back, who knows. Probably not enough. Maybe. <coughs> alright, Shivana. QAD scaling increase, attack speed increase. Added Q, cooldown increase, alright. Shivana got buffs in any case. Bonus physical damage. 20% to 100% AD, so more damage on the Q, on the double hit, attack speed increase, next two attacks have 40% to 60, increase attack speed, so she can auto into Q, and then still have next two attacks, increase attack speed, that's so good for Shivana. that's super good, cooldown, 7 to 5, 8 to 6, so it is longer initially, and then it's still longer. I think that's good, because the spell is much more powerful. The fact that she gets gains attack speed from this is super good. With the E and, you know, all the on-hit stuff. Bonus magic damage on hit. 3% of target's max HP to 3% of target's max HP plus 1% per 100 bonus AD. That's really interesting. I mean, 100 bonus AD is a lot, but... So she, she wants to go more bruiser anyway, right? But So I think those are good buffs for Shivana. Getting this is nice and yeah. <laughs> we'll see. It's kind of hard to build uh, AD on Shivana if, if she goes like off tank, right? But but that's really nice. Especially the Q buff. Alright, that's huge. Uh, Volibear. Passive AP scaling increase. Q quality of life. W heal. So passive gets 50% more AP. Relentless storm. What does this passive even do? Oh, here's those claws. Alright, alright. Gets this shining lightning thing. So after he gains those stacks, five stacks, then his basic attacks deal this. Now they deal more AP damage. I mean, AP Volibear is a bit of a thing. It's kind of mimi, but alright. It's a bit of a thing. So now it's more AP damage. I removed a hitch. After standing at high attack speeds, alright. So better for attack speed builds, I guess. W heals for more. Oh, 20% of missing health. That is big for Volibear. He's much harder to kill now with this. Nice buffs, honestly. This W is good for all builds though, not only AP, like tank. Volibear is super good with this. Because that's like kind of his power is like the sustain. Right, that's the sustain damage and the sustain healing. So really nice buffs for Volibear. There it is. That's that's good. Alright. Zerat. Base mana decreased. Passive cooldown increased. So Zerat loses 60 mana. That's huge. Passive cooldown 4 more seconds. That's also huge. Mana search cooldown is now reduced by 2 seconds upon killing a unit. Alright. Hitting turrets will now proc mana search. That's nice. So if he kills 2 minions then his passive is back to what it was. Within 12 seconds. 
But if he kills like a wave, like a whole wave or like three casters, then he can get the passive ten sec in 10 seconds, so uh, more often, I guess. So that's definitely a good change for like uh, mid lane Zerat, but not so good for the support, I guess. And the ult has got more casts, so it's four at rank one. Magic damage is lowered, but if a champion is hit, the next bolt will deal more damage. <laughs> so scripter Zerats. <laughs> scripter Zerats are very interesting, are very excited about this change, right? Scripter Zerat players. <laughs> so if you hit a lot of those, then it's more damage overall, I guess. You also have more like tries, right? If a champion is hit, then successive bolts, and you receive only one stack. But you can hit one champion with the first bolt, you hit like three three first bolts you hit on a tank and then you hit the last bolt on on like a mid laner and you get you know probably a hundred or so extra damage it's it's good changes it's good changes for sure he also gets more tries to to hit this right really nice for Zerat. if you're a Zerat player probably pretty excited for this <coughs> zyra quality of life passive plant damage from aoe spells four to three Ranged out attacks. Plant damage from AoE 4 to 3. Plant damage from ranged auto attacks 4 to 5. Plant damage to monster on 50 to non epic. 4 to 150 bonus magic damage to all monsters. Seeds on first rank up. 1 to 2. So she gets more seeds passively, I guess. He no longer logs Zyra out of using flash during the cast time, so I guess you can E flash now on Zyra. That's good, they're less clunky. This champ is a bit clunky, alright. Air Strangle Torrents. Damage application. 4 times per second to 16. Like, you know, trying to apply damage. So it's the same as uh, Lissandra. And you can now cast ult at max range, so that's also better for like fast bursts and stuff. <laughs> that's really good for Zyra, alright. So Zyra is getting nice buffs, I guess. I don't exactly understand this. I guess she gets more passive seeds. And this damage... Can't be bothered to check this. Alright, it's adjusted in the case. Alright, those are really nice buffs. And with that, we move on to the items. Starting with the Axiom arc, which got a huge, huge change. Ultimate cooldown refunded. 20% of total cooldown to 5%, plus 40% of total lethality. That is so good. That is so good. It's so good. It makes me want to play Kiana. So much more. Alright. So let's break this down with muffs. It used to be 20%. So so Axiomark itself gets, gives 18 lethality. Sudden Impact gives 9 lethality. So Sudden Impact together with Axiomark is 27 lethality. Which translates to 10.8 so 16%. If you just buy the Axiom Arc, you get 16% cooldown reduction on this. Which is, you know, weaker than it was. So buying just the Axiom Arc is weaker. But no one does that. Because Axiom Arc doesn't give you enough damage. But if you have 27 plus 18. So if you have Dusk Blade, Axiom Arc, and you have Sudden Impact active, then it's 18. So 18% plus 5. So totals out to 23. So at 2 items, you have Dusk Blade, Axiom Arc, and Sudden Impact is on. You get 23%, which is already better. Uh, if you have 3 Lethality items, then it's even better. You can easily reach like 30% cooldown reduction on the ult, which is massive. So if you, let's say, you play Kiana, you hit a 3-man ult, they die somehow. Then for the remaining 2 people, you can ult again. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, this item will definitely not become an insta by now, but... There's a lot of potential. If you have a, if you get a snowball going and you get this axiom arc, you can have so many more ults. Like the carry potential is so much higher with this item, like solo carry potential. Uh, it's 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 a great buff. It's it's amazing. It's super exciting to get two ults in a team fight. Uh, I love it honestly. I think it's great. Yeah, you need quite a bit of uh, lethality to make it work, but at two items, it's already better. And then, you know, at three items, it's uh, also still better. 
it's gonna be probably like 30 percent ish so that's massive three kills wait five seconds and get the ult back or something really good that's that's a massive change that's really good all right uh gale force cooldown on gale force goes up makes sense now it's two minutes makes sense that's good that's good infinity edge gets a nerf already so less ad but more crit strike damage so gale force is nerfed and then infinity is buffed so maybe some champions start switching to infinity maybe so probably not yeah so probably still goes gale force Eon probably still goes gale, for gale force but it's an option i guess more crit strike damage that's better that's definitely better scaling all right for damage we'll see all right we'll see i think it's a decent change if you want scaling for like damage scaling then you go infinity now makes sense and brawler claw gives you more lethality now look at that so more lethality for the axiom damn that's good that's really good actually it's really good so more damage from the brawler that's really nice that's really nice rando is omen reduces even more of the crit strike damage all right so that's nice i guess it is pretty unpopular i agree it is uh spear of shojin is cheaper and gives more hp <laughs> so they nerfed they nerfed the jacks by giving him more equal down and then they buff spear of shojin so jacks you know goes back to where he was pretty much more hp that's that's also good for kiana and like you know all of the champions that buy it that's huge it's a very expensive item now it's cheaper and gives more hp really good that's really good for the item <laughs> jax is jax is still liking those changes all right spirit visage spirit visage like random wins has been mediocre so now it gets more magic resist that makes sense that's fine that's fine all right static shift gives more attack speed now electroshock minion damage something complicated it became complicated that means they know they messed up something 350 so it's got ramps up faster early then it ramps up slower and then it ramps up even slower the damage so late game it gets less less damage on minions all right makes sense all right so a small nerf to static makes sense that's fine all right sterex gauge it's still strong early game so it's fine <laughs> sterex gauge with the goal of increasing fighter agency so it's cheaper it gives more hp all right that's fine so sterex gauge gets a buff and it's a pretty nice buff at it all right so there it is more hp which means also more shield and it's cheaper that's nice trinity force attack speed two less attack speed attack damage per stack three plus three note this is just six <sighs> that's so cringe right games but it's six percent in any case very funny joke all right and maximum tre tre threefold strike stacks oh so now you get four percent no now you get six percent per stack but you can get three stacks of this so now it's easier to stack the triforce but it gives you less damage on full stacks by you know two percent ad and a bit less attack speed 33 uh whatever i mean there it is pretty strong pretty strong but item it is still a small nerf is welcome makes sense that's nice all right summoner spell ghost duration is now 15 seconds oh and it no longer extends on takedowns i think that's fine actually i think that's fine it's no longer extends but it's still as long as you would get with one extension right I think it's plenty of time. 15 seconds is a lo it's a long time. 15 seconds is almost the time Rengar gets on his full ferocity to kill a champion. <laughs> With full ferocity into empowered Q. <laughs> All right. <laughs> After clearing a camp. All right, I'm salty. <laughs> anyway, 15 seconds is a long time. So I think it's fine for the ghost. That's decent. That's fine. Not so broken in like extended team fights if you get takedowns. Makes sense. Jungle buff adjustments. All right, so jungle buff adjustments. Next thing, red got another nerf, I think. So three less damage on the red. 
actually less early game so early game red slows by five percent where's that so the slow is less i don't like that change to be honest i don't know range slow is the same because it's weak anyway double buff extra slow extra damage i don't know man ability haste red gives more ability haste now what i mean blue so you get two but you get two blues your mid laner gets a free blue, free blue anyway, and now it's 20 ability haste. That's so good for the mid laners mostly. But even for like Kiana or something, you get more stealth with this right late game. It's massive, you can get your blue, you can get enemy blue, you can have perma blue pretty much. So there it is. Getting only 5% slow kind of sucks in early game. I think it's kind of bad that they changed it like this. It will still get the job done because it's still a slow, right? It's not the end of the world. And this is obviously a huge buff to blue. Even though early game you get less ability haste, not the biggest deal. I think it's fine. All right. So yeah, there it is. 20 ability haste from blue. What is that? And then Aram, Clash, Mythic Shop, bug fixes, and skins are coming out. Soul Fighter, Pike, Pike, Prestige, Pike skin, and Senna, Star Guardian. So Soul Fighter skins and the random Star Guardian Senna also. There it is. That's it. Thank you for watching, people. That is the patch. That's it, subscribe. I'll, sub I'll uh, review the next patch also. I will. See you later. See you on stream. <laughs> Alright.